What is up guys? It is Tony from Lone Wolf and today we are talking five common myths about your paintball equipment. And why? Because who's the best source for paintball? Are you ever going to stop asking me? You already know it's LoneWolfPaintball.com. That's because it's a fact and it's not it a myth. It is a fact. Best source for paintball. So we're talking, we're talking common myths about your equipment. Let's, let's hear it, Mark. What you got? All right. So here's a common one. High-end guns make you a better player. Oh boy, that is a good one. Um, ye, no, I'm always gonna say it's the player, it's the experience. Yes, high-end guns have their great features, the extra bells and whistles and all the fancy stuff and sometimes guns that talk to you and all the goodies. But at the end of the day, you can take a player that's been playing 15, 20 years or whatever, give them a 98 custom or a mechanical marker and they can go out there and beat most of the newer speedball guys that have $2,000 plus setups. So having a better marker is nice and it's a great option to have, but it does not make the player. Does not. So once again, that is going to be a myth for me. You know what? That makes me want next time we get Ronnie and Chad and them guys here, yeah. we're going to run some five on five at the speedball field. We'll but we're give giving them, them all rentals. 98 rentals yeah. Yeah. and let the other guys play with whatever they're comfortable with. Guarantee you, guarantee you that the, the pros would win with, with using rentals. Guarantee. It'd be a good time though. Yep. All right. Here's a little more techie one for you. Oh. Uh, HPA will not give, will give you more range. H, like uh, you're using high pressure, nitrogen, air. high pressure air, nitrogen tank. Yeah, that one's a great one. Uh, you see people like, oh, I use nitrous. My gun shoots harder. Oh, no. That is not true whatsoever. Total myth. All these guns have uh, internal uh, regulators on them. You can adjust the velocity to however, however you want. Having a gun that either CO2 versus your HPA, that is not going to affect, I mean, maybe consistency velocity-wise, yes, but... Anybody saying my HPA tank will shoot harder than your CO2 tank, that's false. Guns are internally regulated. You can adjust velocity up or down on them. So having a, uh, people call it, I got a nitrous tank. Doesn't make any sense. It's not gonna make your gun shoot harder as a lot of people will say it is. I've heard that one so many times. So your guns are internally regulated. You can adjust velocity, so it does not. That's a myth. There you go. Uh, this is a good one too. Hey, my 22 inch barrel makes me shoot more accurately and farther. Oh boy. Uh, so you're a sniper, Mark. Is that what you're saying? Sniping. So, I mean, unless you had like a rifled barrel, literally rifled on the inside, and you were shooting a first strike round, maybe. First strike round, if you guys know what those are, I got the fins and spirals and all that cool stuff, but no. Anything over 14 inches shooting a standard paintball puts extra drag on the paintball itself and it does not make it shoot farther. It does not make it shoot faster. So if you're out there and you're using a 22 inch barrel shooting standard bore size and standard paintballs, you're just, you, I mean, it looks interesting, but you're not doing yourself any good. You should definitely get a, a barrel kit, size up the paint. If you really want true accuracy and distance, make sure you're not losing a bunch of air, size up the paint. I have a video on that already on the channel on how to properly um, size up that to the inside of your barrel. So that's a myth, Mark. All right. Don't The 22 inch barrel is not going to help you. All right. This is one I hadn't heard before, but it's interesting. Uh -oh. uh, your ball detents can affect your accuracy. Well, so what's a ball detent for? A ball detent is to keep paintballs, further paintballs from feeding. You're supposed to keep them one at a time and to keep them from rolling down the barrel. So normally, like a 98 Custom has one ball detent. Normally your high-end guns have one on each side, so they've got two. Keeps your ball centered in the breech and it keeps it from other paintballs from the hopper being able to feed down and out. And then the ball that's currently in the chamber from rolling down the barrel. So grab, you, grab, the, uh, grab the lux so we can just show them where the ball detent is. So the ball detent is going to be right coming down outside of your feed neck. So obviously this is where the paintballs feed down. This Lux, obviously a very expensive gun, has a detent on one side and a detent on the others. So what that does prevents when your hopper is sitting on top feeding paint down in there, it's keeping one in the breech at the time and not and preventing from multiple getting down and rolling down and out your barrel. So these right here, these eye covers that have the detents inside of them, Super, super important. You're definitely gonna wanna have a ball detent or when you tip your gun upside down, you're gonna see paintballs falling out of the bottom of the barrel. So you definitely want ball detents. Um, so I would say, read the question again, Mark. 
So that, that would ball be t ball detents can affect your accuracy. They can. Uh, I would say that is a fact then because you definitely want ball detents in there to keep excess paint from getting inside of the gun. You're going to be chopping paint. Paint's going to be, you're going to be having three, four, five balls stuck inside your barrel. You don't want that. Make sure you guys have ball detents. But just as a side note, if you start breaking paint, you look cool because you look like you have a flamethrower. It's like And you won't be hitting anybody. Nope, but it looks cool for That's five right. seconds. And the last, the greatest equipment oh, myth boy. of all time, ladies hit, and gentlemen, boys and girls, it. and all other genders, paintballs can be frozen. Oh boy, probably one of our better videos from years and years ago. We've done, I think, at least one or two frozen paintball myth videos. Um, you can put them in the freezer. Uh, they are definitely a little less accurate and they won't completely freeze. The gelatin on the inside, the ones that we did mark multiple times, they don't freeze. They get a little kind of like sticky, but they won't freeze rock solid hard. It's not like you're going to be shooting a marble out of your gun. So no, like paint, frozen paintballs, and, and Steve said, right, they didn't hurt any more than the standard, right? No, so what happens when a paintball gets cold when you play in the winter? The shell gets a little more brittle, yeah. it breaks easier, you risk breaking the paintballs in your marker faster, and the mixture that they use for the gelatin doesn't inside freeze solid. doesn't freeze solid. It becomes kind of like a jelly, mm -hmm. and then your paintball is lopsided because it all freezes to one side, right. and now your ball's doing spins and all kinds of crazy stuff, so you're not even hitting what you're aiming it's for. It's not like putting water in your freezer and making ice cubes that never freezes that hard, never that solid. So like Mark said, it gets lopsided. Yes, it gets like harder, but it never freezes completely solid. So the shell's more brittle. It's uh, it now that's with, with field paint and that if, if you're shooting some garbage from Walmart that you yeah. found that some weird Chinese company made. Mostly that's like they're still like using some like cheap oil in there or yeah, whatever from still those. still probably won't freeze yeah, solid. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. We've done multiple videos on it. Check it out. We have frozen paintball videos already on the channel. And put in the comments below any more myths you would want to see us talk about. And don't forget, shop the best source. It's LoneWolfPaintball.com. And that's no myth.